Grand Rising family, welcome to your weekend reading. So, family, um, I don't know what calendar I looked at. Um, that uh, it was, um, where was it? Um, I looked on Google when re when Mercury was going the date to when Mercury was going retrograde in 2023, and it said something about December 28th, but, um. That's not true at all. Uh, I don't, I looked again. I was guided to look again because people are spinning the block family. And um, like out of nowhere, sliding into the text messaging, sliding into the DMs, right? Um, and I'm like, that's weird. I thought that Mercury was going to go into shadow on the 13th. But no, 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 no. Mercury is going retrograde on the 13th. 14th 13th and uh which means we're already in shadow so that's why um nostalgia could be coming up for you people from the past could be spinning the block and um you know also why i had some te technology stuff happen and uh all of the things right all of the things that we want to make sure that we are conscious of aware of during mercury retrograde all the reads make sure you service your car uh, my daughter reached out to me and said she's been seeing a lot of uh, cars on the side of the road with uh, accidents and things like that so prepare for delays leave early if you you know have to be somewhere at a certain time because you just never know right so, um, okay. So yeah, we're already here We're we have arrived to Mercury shadow period. Mercury retrograde on December 13th signals a time to clear out will hold you back, clean up both physically and digital spaces. The month's end brings a reflective mood, acknowledge your journey and celebrate how far you've come. So yeah, I don't know where I read that it was going to go retro. So basically, it will be in retrograde for Christmas. So that's why we keep seeing changes, something significant that's going to happen around the holidays and all the readings. So I had I got that other information also from Google. But what I Googled was uh, Mercury retrograde, you know, um, Mercury retrograde dates 2023 and the first thing that popped up was December 28th so I was like okay okay so it should start shadow period on the 13th but no we're already in shadow so um so that's that <laughs> so that's also if 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 uh you're in your feelings <laughs> that could be why that is okay as well so um, I have these two decks out, these two decks that, um, you know, I saw in meditation for the weekend message. Let me lower this mic a little bit. So I want to thank everyone that's new. Welcome to, to the family. Everyone that's returning, welcome back. Thank you to everyone that has donated to the channel, that has donated decks, has sent super thanks, scheduled personal readings with me. Also to everyone that likes, that shares, that subscribes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It does help the message to reach those that need it and it also helps our community to grow. I love you all. May you always continue to be blessed and receive tenfold infinity and beyond all that you give, family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm gonna say my prayer and we're gonna get started.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guides. May this message reach everyone that needs it, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is. All right, so um, at the bottom of the deck is soulmate energy. So, okay, let's get started. I'm going to get the main energy for the weekend, and then we'll um, use this true love deck, um, and then we will see what else has got we got going on for the weekend. What is in the energy here? What is the main energy? Split the deck. We have dreams. So um, I'm getting daydreamy energy, but I'm also getting that you're getting a lot of messages through your dreams. Okay, what is the main energy? We have victim consciousness here. That's that eight of swords, nine of swords, five of cups energy. We have pride as well. What else? What is the main energy here that we are wanting, needing to look at, to focus on at this time? As a see cycles for the week and what do we need to focus on this weekend we have here oh my goodness we have here sexuality okay and then we have a selling out under the deck so this selling out energy is the same settling energy we've been picking up on and um the sexuality is talking about where is it there it is hold on a second um, the sexuality is talking about sacral chakra energy family okay and uh number four sexuality sexuality is a i'm actually going to hold it up but i'm going to cover the part it's because you know youtube <laughs> Uh, sexuality is a natural part of life embrace and enjoy your intimate sensual and passionate nature so you guys could be feeling very fertile very creative right now this is sacral chakra energy take time to explore your sexuality how do you feel about yourself uh, do you feel sexy attractive happy with your body or are you judging yourself harshly you need to let go of any old feelings of hurt, shame, or guilt in relation to your sexuality. So sexual freedom, this is healing your sacral chakra. So you can do for the feminines, you can do the womb healing by Sandra Rolis. Uh, masculines, you can do um, sacral chakra. Feminines, you work on your sacral chakra. Sacral chakra is being activated right now, trying to heal. We saw that in, yes, was it yesterday? Yes, it was uh, the Scorpio reading that I did that the sacral chakra energy came through. If you're in a relationship, you need to bring more. You need to bring some romance back and spice things up. So some of you guys are really um, ready for love, for to take on a lover. Some of you guys are really ready to um, attract in somebody, right? A relationship. Some of you guys are feeling the sexual energy come up for you and you are wanting to share you know, um, in deep, in deeper intimacy with somebody that you care about. Okay. Um, in order to make uh, sex an incredibly fulfilling, seductive, exhilarating, orgasmic experience, you need to let go of your defenses and fears of being intimate with your partner, relinquish control and dive into unguarded, ecstatic, blissful passion, be creative, communicate with your lover and find new and exciting ways to thrill each other. And we have this selling out energy and sadness. I wonder if the, this stuff is coming up for you right now. Mercury's in shadow period of maybe some memories of the last intimate uh, relation you had with somebody that you may have some regrets around. Uh, you may felt like you may felt here selling out. You may felt like you were used perhaps, you know, um, these are the things here release any shame or guilt right in your in your sacral in your sacral area here okay um yeah inner child healing i'm seeing perhaps that's what could be coming up for you right now during the shadow period is some the last experience you had and how you felt like you abandoned yourself you were tested you might have failed a test that you may felt like you have betrayed yourself here okay or for some of you guys you could be um reminiscing here on the, you know the last time that you were with somebody and you were feeling sad because you would like to experience that again you miss it okay um 
the selling out energy here this is uh, i feel like it's a lot of the shame that could be coming up for you right now and from your solar plexus for you to heal okay um forgiveness work the forgiveness affirmations, cord cutting, womb healing, sacral chakra, heart chakra can really help with this at this time. Let's capitalize on the help that we're getting from Mercury retrograde to do to go in deep and do this trauma healing work, this addictions work as well. Um, that you know, our sacral chakra is the chakra of sexuality and sensuality of where we store our traumas. It is our, our chakra of creativity as well, our fertility, um, beauty, pleasure. You might, with this sadness here, you might not be finding, you know, pleasure in the things that you do in your day to day. Um, you know, there might be a need to to treat yourself, right? To treat yourself and spend some time with yourself here um, to give yourself what you need at this time. I'm saying it in the most PG way possible, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm getting, you know, with the selling out here on with sadness under, I could feel like there could be some things coming up to the surface. If this isn't you, there's going to be somebody in your energy. There could be some things coming up here to the surface that is, um, you're needing to take a look at, to forgive yourself about. Okay. Um, I've had to do this work myself where, um, you know, I, I, I regretted, you know, um, letting, letting people back in, in the past, right. In my life. And, um, knowing that my intuition was my body was closed off. My intuition was saying no, but it's all codependency healing, which that is sacral chakra as well. You know, when we abandon ourselves and we betray ourselves and we, you know, um, do things outside of our integrity and what's our authentic truth, what's true to ourselves, staying true to our heart and ourself and our worth, right? Um, it can create, you know, a little bit of a, a wounding a imbalance in the sacral area. So um, the, the selling out energy here, it is saying, you know, you could potentially be tested. This could be a, a prediction. You could be tested. Again, people are spinning the butt. They're circling back. It's Mercury retrograde. It could be t being tested and just, and you know, you could be feeling sad, missing somebody, longing for them and uh, energetically, telepathically calling each other in. But just know that these people, um, when they're returning a Mercury retrograde, it's uh, normally, you know, because there's still some unfinished business, there's still stuff that still needs to be healed and released. A uh, karmic, you know, cycle. I did see cycles uh, that needs to be closed out. And if you do indulge in this because you're sad, because you're feeling lonely, because you're feeling nostalgic, because you're feeling vulnerable, because you're healing, right? When we heal, our energy becomes real fragile, becomes real sensitive, we become vulnerable, and um, and we can get preyed upon at that time. People can feel it when our guards are down, when we're when we're opening up, right? And uh, so there's, there could be a lot of things here. It's going to be different for all of you guys. Uh, if you guys are feeling sad right now, you'll be tested and tempted. Um, and, uh, and, 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 and you may end up doing something you may regret. And if you do, it's okay. Nobody said that you're not allowed to make a mistake. We're all human, you know, going through this school of life, going through the waves and the ups and downs and learning and soul lessons. And we're on this journey, right? Together, walking each other home, learning together, growing together, healing together and ascending together. So, um, I do feel you could be feeling vulnerable right now. I don't know why I'm getting that. I'm getting temptation is going to be really strong around Mercury retrograde. So be conscious and aware of that. I feel like it takes a little bit longer to forgive yourself uh, than, than it does for you to just... Uh, this is going to be a test of codependency, where you are on your codependency, on your self-worth and self-love. Selling out. I'm going to read that. Uh, your integrity and inner strength are being severely tested. You have an important, uh, you have an opportunity to act with either integrity, either fear or love. 
Where in your life are you selling out or acting out of integrity? This is that settling energy. Are you in a job you hate? Are you living in a toxic environment and making everyone sick in the pursuit of financial security? The card asks you to find the courage to stand up for your convictions and take steps towards doing what you love. Selling out is linked to the shadow aspect of the prostitute archetype. When you connect to this archetype, you can examine your fears around survival, power, responsibility, and success. Again, the sexuality, the shame. This stuff could be coming up from past life. It could even be coming up, you know, from the stuff that you're clearing and releasing from your womb area that's connected to seven generations back on the, on your, on your mother's side, on your timeline. Okay. Um, that's coming up for you to clear ancestral clearing. When you connect with this archetype, you can examine your fears around survival, power, responsibility, and success on the light side. The prostitute can lead you to freedom, self-expression, choice, and love. So, wow, intense weekend so far when it comes to, to this energy that we are uh, talking about here. All right, so let's see what else wants to come through. What else we got here? We got the divine masculine at the bottom of the deck. What else do we have here? Divine Masculine wants to resolve conflict with you. What else do we have for the weekend? Luminosity. I love that energy. This is going to be for Saturday the 2nd and Sunday the 3rd for the collective. We got love. Love is in the air. All right, what else for Saturday? So it's clear you're going to be tested. You're going to be tested. Self-respect. The self-respect is going to be tested. Yeah, and, you know, because you could be feeling, you know, like you are in need of your physical body. Could be in need of physical touch and warmth and intimacy and uh, all of that, right? As long as you, you know, uh, be conscious and aware about whether or not, like, how are you going to feel after the fact, right? Um, that's going to be important. I mean, if you're in a really good place when on your healing journey, we're not going to do anything from a place because we're sad and lonely, right? And longing and, uh, and uh, in this codependent energy, right? Of... Uh, not wanting to lose somebody and settling for less just because you want to feel close because you want to be held you want to be touched you know you want to have that warmth that intimacy okay so um you know when we're sad and when we're vulnerable we can really be susceptible right to attracting in or to opening ourselves up to these negative darker energy so make sure you ground yourself as well we got self-respect what else somebody might want to you know this is i feel like it's not only this weekend but up until mercury goes direct this this could happen okay you could be feeling nostalgic and vulnerable and missing someone they may reach out they may want to come see you and you know may want to tempt you here right for you to lower your integrity and lower your self-respect you've done way too much work to um to have this kind of setback right but even if you do remember it's perfectly fine to make a mistake forgive yourself right even if you look sexuality again so twice for sexuality okay yeah you're in this really beautiful energy here of luminosity luminosity is the self-respect energy what's under that compatibility look sexual freedom sexual freedom boundaries come on spirit <laughs> boundaries okay sexual freedom is you healing your sacral chakra being more responsible when it comes to your sexuality right your naked body only is is for those who fall in love with your naked soul 
first, okay? There is somebody that you have extreme compatibility with, attraction, chemistry, sexual chemistry even. But again, you have been on this journey here of, of becoming more mature for a long time, right? And if commitment is something that you're wanting and manifesting for yourself, you will be tested. This luminosity energy is really, really beautiful. It's one of my favorite cards in this entire deck because it's talking about, uh, you know, a, 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 a feminine energy here that is in this beautiful energy of self-love and self-respect. And luminosity uh, stands for you're glowing, you're radiating this uh, beautiful energy of independence, emotional independence, emotional freedom, okay? And uh, and what it's saying here is is that the, 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 it's like this divine feminine energy, the luminosity of you, you know, expressing your needs, expressing how, we saw that in yesterday's reading, expressing to the person that you, uh, you have in mind or that's coming towards you or the person, you know, uh, the divine masculine or whoever that's coming towards you, what you want and what you need that, f that will make you feel happy, respected, fulfilled. And then you let the person, you know, go off on their own and, uh, and on their own, right, decide to show you um, what you mean to them, how much they value you without you pressuring them, nagging them, chasing, or any of that, all right? This right here is what attracts in, this radiant luminosity is what attracts in a chivalrous partner to come in and, 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 and pursue you and court you, okay? So, and you don't have to sell out. You don't have to, uh, you know, do things with this person for them to choose you, like you, want you, uh, you know, any of that, okay? Uh, so, I'm actually going to read that. I Any chance I get to read Luminosity, I'll t I take it because it's one of my favorite cards. <laughs> and I'm so glad it, it, it was at the bottom of the deck here. Luminosity, 56. Fifty-six. Right here. When a woman glows from within, she naturally attracts a chivalrous male. Yeah. And that's what I feel. That's what this healing is helping you with to release any kind of shame or guilt regarding any kind of past... Um, past actions that you may have taken when you self-abandoned, when you, you know, didn't act out of integrity or from a place of self-respect or from a place of, um, you know, um, honor and integrity toward yourself. There's a forgiveness that's taking place at this time and you're releasing a lot of that trauma, a lot of that shame, a lot of that guilt, okay? And you're glowing from within. This healing work that you're doing is helping you to glow from within. When you are connected to your divine feminine, you become luminous. Your true nature shines from within and you glow. Sorry, I'm fixing my mic. And you glow. Oh, come on. The luminous woman is the feminine counterpart of the chivalrous male. They are attracted to one another, complement, support, and nurture each other. Yeah, there's somebody you have a lot of compatibility with that you can be free with. Sexual freedom that you can be free with. <laughs> you know, um, and when it comes to your sexuality, right? Sexual freedom for me is also about uh, healing. If you've ever, if you've had any kind of sex addiction, that's healing from that. If you had any kind of sexual trauma as a child or a young adult, or even in your adult, that's healing from that as well. Okay. That's healing from, from, from you're freeing yourself sexually you're becoming more comfortable with your sexuality with your body okay so all of that's taking place right now what uh the luminous woman is a feminine counterpart to the shiver of smell they are attracted to one another complement support and nurture each other 
In this modern age, it can be quite difficult for a woman to find her luminous center and live from that place because we have fallen into the trap of believing we are supposed to have, be, and do it all, all the time. What this usually means is that the woman takes too much upon herself and tries to fill the roles of the, of the men in her life instead of asking for their help. Being luminous requires poise. Interesting. I had this conversation with somebody today about uh, the, the, the masculine, the divine, the masculine role, the feminine role, or even, you know, um, how, uh, the men nowadays, they just want to be chased, right? It's like, they've gotten really lazy when it comes to courting and, uh, putting in consistent effort, time, energy, and effort, um, because they're they're coming from being in a place where the woman did everything they did the chasing the calling the initiating the invitation the all of that right and it's like the roles were reversed and it's like uh it's like going back to you know how 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 it was like back in the day right when um when when the men took a lot of pride and uh enjoyed you know pursuing and courting and um the you know like the good old days you know and it's like the women uh, you know the wounded feminine hasn't really felt safe to lower their their shields their barriers their guards right to to feel safe around some of these uh, masculine energies and um feeling safe enough to letting them lead and it's like the feminine energy the divine feminine energy is healing the feminine energy within so we're more in this flow more in this receptivity more in allowing more in acceptance and it's a beautiful thing because it is giving making creating space for uh, the divine masculine to step into the divine masculine energy of leadership and initiative right and uh, from a healthy place chasing somebody is not healthy it comes from codependency, okay? So that's what we're healing. That's what we're healing. So it's a mutually compatibility, mutually mutual exchange of energy. Being luminous requires poise. It is worth the extra effort of patience at first, if that is what's required. Usually, what is most effective is an adjustment of perspective. A luminous woman asks for what she wants needs with respect for the other person's time and feelings then goes about her day confident that her request will be responded to that came out in yesterday's reading with the queen of swords if it takes a little longer than she first hoped she does not become overbearing or critical she simply focuses on her own life and what and what she is able to do thus creating a positive space for the chivalrous male to step in whether we like it or not the responsibility of going first lies with the feminine as very few men will continue to be shivers in the space of a woman who isn't luminous to some degree. So this is what you're being asked to do. This is part of the self-respect, right? In moderation and patience is holding out from, from codependency here. Okay. Your integrity is going to be challenged and tested during this Mercury retrograde. Okay. You're going to want to uh connect with somebody that you care about in that way right but spirit is saying if if that's a cycle you have been already on with this person and nothing has changed this person did not step up and offer you stability security or commitment right you could be selling out you could be okay if you do decide to go to to go at it again in another cycle with this person being luminous requires practice as the feminine helps you to let go of your old patterns of taking over, micromanaging, or insisting things be done your way. So it's like this. It's like if you think that the person that you have this connection with isn't listening to you, they are. They're, they heard everything you said. They're, you just need to give them the patience, the time, and the space to come forward to come towards you okay if that person is meant for you right if not then somebody else will you have drawn this card today because a luminous woman in you is calling out for attention upbring 
ur- not upbringing, urging you to be graceful and to incorporate some luminous energy into your busy days. Choose one small thing that you can imbue with your luminosity today. Put your requests out there and give thanks for it being done. Already live as if it's going to be done. For the masculines, for men, this means that the feminine energy is working within and through you in positive ways. Feel the ways you can become more connected to your heart and able to express your feelings more clearly. So for the men, you've been asked to express your feelings more clearly and connect more with your heart space. So it's interesting that we have this um, sexuality card twice. That's confirmation. Oh, I'm interested to see what it is saying in this book. 78. There's a self-respect. There is no need to compromise your self-respect for love or security. There's no need to compromise yourself and sell out. Okay? So that's a huge message as well. Whether you are in a relationship or not, self-respect is the key to how other people perceive and treat you. People are going to treat you as, as good as you treat yourself. Sometimes self-respect may seem to take you down a lonely road. But even that, that's what the sadness is coming in. But even that part of the journey is worthwhile. If you aren't willing to speak up for what you believe in, walk away from situations that are damaging to you and act from your own integrity. How can anyone else truly know or care for you? How could you know how they truly care for you if you're not, right? At times, it's tempting to compromise your self-respect for security or survival. Again, your survival instincts selling out. As a short-term measure, this may be necessary while you get your life in order, but as a long-term measure, this is unhealthy for you, your heart and your soul. You have drawn this card today because the universe would like for you to look at the ways you have compromised yourself in the past or present in order to secure or maintain a relationship. That's the selling out energy, okay? Some, some have, may have used sex for that, right? Not use it in a healthy, more responsible way that is healing to you. Okay, real life and spiritual growth are not about taking the convenient path. In fact, love and spiritual growth often demand that we face challenging situations in order to confirm our commitment to what we say we want. Stay committed to the vision, to your goals, to your path, to what you told the divine and what you ask for, what you pray for, what you told the divine spirit, the angels that you want for yourself. Okay. Most people breach their own integrity and compromise their self-respect from time to time. Living a fulfilling life is not about being perfect. It's about acknowledging what is and choosing a healthier course of action from now on. When you live from your truth, a life of integrity and self-respect are the natural outcomes and your angels, spirit guides, and the entire universe are standing by to help you attain that level of quality and fulfillment. Ask for their help and act on their guidance and and the urging of your own intuition, gut, and heart. Okay, so sexuality. There is a sexual freedom here. Sexual freedom and energy are dynamite to the human heart and soul, affording a blissful opportunity to communicate and connect deeply beyond words. Sexuality blossoms in an atmosphere of trust, intimacy, love, and friendship. Yeah, it just feels better that way. I'm not going to hold that card up because, oh, maybe I can because I can just put my finger over her breasts. <sighs> The natural rhythms of sexualities are really misunderstood in our modern culture. All too often, we see that a person's natural sexuality is glamorized and exaggerated in order to lure an attractive partner. As a result, many people become entangled in relationships that have little more substance than sexual attraction. If there is no real connection between the two, then a sense of obligation or fear of losing what there is may be all that keeps them together, codependency. This situation is simply not good enough. Sexuality, it's, it's not enough. It's just not enough. We're not, that's not where we are, where we are on our journey at this time. Uh, sexuality has its own beautiful rhythm. If you're prepared to listen to it, a natural caution and healthy boundary. We saw that boundary card of reserve. And this is a self-respect that's going to attract in the right person for you, right? 
A natural caution and healthy boundary of reserve will guide you when the time is right to connect yourself in a sexual union with the person you are attracted to. Surprisingly, this time frame will often be around one month. Time to know the person in some depth. <laughs> Rather than the whirlwind tumble into bed that's encouraged by Hollywood. <laughs> Sorry, something just came to me. <laughs> uh, contrary to popular belief, sexuality does not automatically fade as the relationship continues. Imagine your sexual energy as a flower that is gradually opening, growing, blossoming, and coming into its full beauty. Sexuality blossoms in an atmosphere of trust, intimacy, love, and friendship, and will wither in an atmosphere of misunderstood feelings and needs. In an existing relationship, you are required to listen to your natural rhythms once more instead of allowing your routine to dictate your life. Take a second honeymoon and start afresh. Make time to connect in the mornings and afternoons rather than after a long busy day. Whether you are manifesting a partner or already, or already with someone, you have drawn this card today because it's up to you to heed this call from your heart body and soul to give your sexuality the respect and attention that it deserves wow we're off with a bang with uh, mercury uh, shadow period here off with the bang for the weekend message okay spirit <laughs> i hear we hear you we hear you this is beautiful that means that you know you're gonna have an opportunity here to make a decision for yourself coming coming up soon don't let the sadness and the loneliness right self-respect make you feel lonely right uh it's like this it's like if you're trying to attract in the person that your true love the person of your life the person of your dreams you know the person that you want to you know that to treat you with respect to treat you with love to offer security stability commitment and to court you properly right um then you know they can wait a month like it says on this and get to know you better right and and actually date you and uh learn ask questions about yourself ask learn about each other right more on a, on a deeper level on a deeper intimate level so um before you open yourself up, open your body up to somebody that you hardly know, right? So, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna split the deck. We have the 10, exactly as I was talking about, long-term security, stability. We have the 10 of pentacles. That's uh, going the long distance, the long haul, right? Again, generational wealth, financial stabil stability, financial security. I was guided to read all of that because I feel it's a double message. I feel it's really important. For this weekend here, this is a highlighted message when it comes to your goddess energy, your God energy, and to not to give your God and goddess goods to mere mortals, <laughs> right? So um, to protect your energy because you could you're because you're becoming very vulnerable and very fragile and very sensitive, you could easily absorb other people's trauma as well, right? You could easily absorb other people's trauma as well this is the sadness energy this energy of loss right so somebody may you know be feeling some sadness and may want to reach out to you they might miss you here okay and um, both of you guys might be feeling very vulnerable right now end up you know in each other's arms again for another cycle what what else here we have here nine of cups that's that Satis energy of satisfaction and overindulgence even for some and pleasure right it is a wish a card of self-love emotional uh, you know satisfaction here emo emotional independence and emotional fulfillment but the spirit said take your time take your time go slow go slow so it can go the distance right what else here for the collective for the weekend but the first card out usually sets the tone. We have the seven of pentacles, investing time, energy, and effort. There's something coming to fruition for you at this time. Yeah, you do have uh, a very strong, magnetic, passionate, again, sexual attraction, chemistry with somebody here that is your, a person that's destined and fated for you. 
uh, it's compatibility. They're built perfectly for you. <laughs> it's the perfect size, shape, all of it for you <laughs> in every which way. And, um, and I feel like it's getting ready to come here, come into fruition here for you. That's why you're getting these messages that your, your integrity will be tested. Okay. There is a turning point. There's a huge change that's destined and fated to happen right now. Um, there is something coming to fruition here with the seven of pentacles. It's, it's like the time is now for this to come in for this connection here. Yep. There's a sense of urgency even at this time. So, um, this could be somebody that is sad in your energy. If you're not sad yourself, right? If you're not feeling vulnerable because things are coming up for you, nostalgia, things that you're healing, then this could be somebody in your energy that is in a, a settling, selling out situation, feeling sad, missing you on every level. And even, you know, having these, um, uh, you know, sexually daydreaming about you, you know, sexually as well as visualizing your future together. And it's, again, it feels like they almost, with this uh, Knight of Swords here, feels like they almost can't take it anymore. And they want to rush in. They want to rush in to talk, right? And uh, and it's somebody that that you have a really strong spiritual, divine, sacred connection with. Look, the angels is helping to bring this you two together here, right? And... Um, so yeah, it's tempting. It's very tempting because there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of love. All the cups are running over here. Okay. So, and this situation is very satisfying to you. It's very satisfying. Okay. Tell me about this nine of cups for the weekend. Ace of Cups, my goodness. Yeah, oh. <laughs> overflow of water, overflow. This is an, it's a, it's a, it's a opportunity coming in here for a brand new beginning is a wish in love, a new love for some. And, um, and yeah, your integrity is being tested. Spirit said, take your time with this. Um, Seven of Pentacles, make sure that again, luminous, luminosity, right? Luminosity, divine feminine energy of self-worth self-respect this is venus unconditional love nurturing give it time for it to grow and blossom this new connection that is very it is a wish of yours is exciting it's uh, there's a lot of emotion new feelings of love emerging for this person um again it is it, you feel really good look the ace one one ace ace of cups plus the nine is a ten of cups. This can lead to the ten of cups. I feel like somebody sees you as that. It's your it's you're their ten of cups. You feel like home. You feel like home. The Empress, there is no comparison to the Empress. The Empress is this luminosity. The Empress is this divine feminine energy, the goddess. The Empress is pleasure right here and abundance and growth and fertility and beauty and unconditional love. There's room to grow with the Empress. The Empress holds space. The Empress is very cozy and sensual, you know, and it is hard to resist the Empress. It is hard, especially when we're talking about this connection, the 1111 connection. But again, it, you must, you must hold your integrity because this is somebody here, this, your person, your divine, I, I don't like saying your person because no one belongs to anyone. <laughs> your the, the divine counterpart here. Okay. Um, is, uh, in the process of, you know, walking away from, from some kind of, and that's the stress. I, I honestly feel like, what did I write down? Yeah, happiness is at their fingertips if they choose it. Um, yeah, that's I, and I wrote some other stuff down too, but I also wrote that there. This person, okay, this person is stressed out because like it's like you're everything that they want. 
the empress you're the whole package right and uh again you're beautiful and you're sensual and you're the divine feminine you're glowing you're luminous you're radiant there's you know uh a seed has already been planted here with this person okay and it's like they do feel like time is slipping the time is running out tick tock here right and that's causing them a lot of stress i do feel like this person wants to talk to you but i do feel that there's a lot of stuff that this person is not saying not telling you because of fear that they'll lose you. It's like they want to still remain in contact with you. They still want to be in your energy and still want to uh, talk to you. But this person is afraid to tell you, be completely honest with you about what's going on with them here in the Nine of Swords because of their fear of losing you and losing contact with you altogether, right? So it's like, I don't know if it's called the Catch-22, a perspective. And it's like, you know... Um, if you do, it's like this. It's like, if they're completely honest with you, you may not want to deal with them or talk to them anymore, right? But uh, but then again, you may not want to talk to them anymore because they're not being completely honest with you about what's going on with them, right? Um, so I don't know. It's, it's, it is a perspective. You take, you take that how you, you know, are, want to take it, but how it is for you. I personally prefer the truth. I feel like lying to me is what's going to put, you know, push me away and that's the fastest way to lose me. But, you know, I I feel like you have a better chance of being in my life and we can still talk if I have the truth, you know? That's just me personally. Okay, see that that's that's the conundrum. The eight of swords is, I don't know, it's a, it's a limitation. It's a, it's a, it's like this person feels stuck between a rock and a hard place. You know, they don't know they can, first of all, they can't get you out of their mind. You or this person, there's a lot of love here. It's overflowing a love. It's actually overwhelming. This person is, you know, that that's the, the conflict here. The conflict here is this person is stuck on not uh, feeling like they don't know what to do in a certain situation. They do feel time is slipping. You're slipping. Okay. Away. Yeah. They want to talk to you. They want your energy. They want to be in your life. You know, they don't want you out of their life, but they know that, you know, they're, it's like they have to be vague with you. They have to not share a lot with you in, in fear of, of, of them losing you forever. It's like this person is, is this victim consciousness we saw earlier. This eight of swords is somebody that is um, struggling to come out of their limitations, right? The overthinking, the analysis paralysis, the fear here. Trapped by fear of what to do. They feel like they, they don't know how to uh, maintain the relationship and keep you in their life while they figure out, while the time, the divine timing is here, while they figure out how to get out of whatever they're needing to get out of. We have the eight of swords and the, yeah, they definitely want to talk really badly, but because you're in this luminosity energy here, it can seem a little intimidating for this person. It's like, I feel like this person has a fear of, of one wrong move or saying the wrong thing. And you'll use this sort of truth to, to cut them out. And look, we have somebody here that's feeling very sad. Okay. Uh, probably in the process of healing, feeling very sad, becoming independent, probably becoming single. Yeah. The truth is being revealed or was revealed or is about to be revealed for somebody here. Okay. But this is exactly the sort of truth. This person getting the realization that they need to break themselves free from this limit. The truth will set you free for sure. This is throat chakra energy here. Can I have one on the wheel of fortune? Yeah, so it's all about this communication. And look, why why, why they're in the Eight of Swords is because they will come face to face with the Queen of Swords, okay? And the Queen of Swords is the no BS queen. She knows a lot. <laughs> look at Justice, Libra energy, needing crossroads energy, needing to make a decision, needing to close out the cycle that somebody has already built some kind of a family dynamic, right? 
and uh, close that out in the process of making a decision here, okay? And that's what they want to tell you here. But they don't know how to come forward and tell you this without without the fear of losing you for good. They, they're they highly intimidated by the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is factual and truthful and it operates from a place of integrity, so has self-respect, morals, and values. I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not even worried about uh, this temptation of yours here. This temptation could be on their end, could be on their end, you know, um, I, because the Queen of Swords has self-respect operates from truth the queen of swords wants the truth justice here libra energy the queen of swords wants the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth right um the the that's what the justice cards represent it's you know karmic what is it karmic justice you know i get you get what you give right so this is operating from a place of integrity morals and values and honoring your truth walking your truth speaking your truth living your truth and i feel like this person is gonna is gonna you know <laughs> approach the queen of swords with, with the truth and everything will be all right right but they do feel the queen of swords kind of cold kind of detached you know the no nonsense queen not willing to put up with a lot of stuff here okay so um the lovers clarify the lovers Gemini energy, the star. Wow. And the 10 of pentacles. Somebody is getting a wish. Yeah. Be careful with these past people returning. Okay. Into your life. They're still, they have an agenda. They still don't, they still, you know, um, they're still juggling. They still have the runner here, the runner. They still have, uh, you know, a situation going, okay, on their end, right? That they're not being quite honest about. This is a strategist. This is a strategist. And they're coming in all passionate, right? They want this reconciliation because they miss you. And they're going back and forth on this, okay? Trying to figure out um, how to do this, how to make their comeback. But I love the star under, under, under the lovers, clarifying the lovers, Okay, this means that this 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 connection is transforming, is healing, is ascending. Okay, this is a very cosmic connection here with the star card. I'm not going to hold up the star card because of you guys know YouTube is is uh, cracking down. But um, so it's like you're going to get some kind of a wish that's going to come in. Okay, but the 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 caution here is, you know to be sure that you're not gonna get yourself in a situation where you're gonna end up tied up like this in your head about it right um that you don't betray yourself here but you know because this person is coming in passionate flirty sensual sexual the the knight of wands is, has his wand in his hand <laughs> i can't help but notice this right <laughs> <laughs> somebody here is holding their wand and then all, all this water here right <laughs> with the with the card of overindulgence and all of this that we got earlier okay so um yeah you this this relationship is very rare with the star here very unique okay and uh it's not your typical love story right no ordinary love i'll tell you that right now um and, um, and again, I feel like this is a very healing connection with the star here. It's like both of, both of the, the divine counterparts are going through a major awakening. Okay. Right now, the star being the awakener and the healer. And it's like, don't lose hope and don't lose faith and think positive thoughts. This is the stars are aligning for this to come together. You guys with the wheel of fortune, it's serendipitously destined and fated to be together here. Okay. It's just a matter of time. That's all. It's just a matter of time with the seven of pentacles, right? For somebody to get out of their head and, uh, you know, make a decision here and, 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 and get, tie up the loose ends, get their life in order here and choose to follow their, their destined path with the star, choose to follow their North node, choose to follow, you know, you could be getting a phone call soon here. 
the the wheel of it's like this this change when it comes to this connection is already in motion. We're already on the wheel. If you're seeing, especially if you're seeing 555, 222, 333, 444 a lot, 111, 1111, 1222, 1212, 1010, 911, angel numbers galore, 1010 as well. You know, um, so we have, uh, you're very close here to this Ace of Pentacles. Nines uh, represents close to a completion. Then we have the 10 here, which is the culmination, right? And, um, and again, we have uh, two cards of fate and destiny and serendipity and, you know, uh, co cosmic alignment, universal alignment, and, and, and two energies here of divine timing. So uh, this, this is an unbreakable bond. This connection here is, is beautiful. It's magical. It's healing right? It's serendipitous. It's synchronous. Lots of synchronicities, even lots of signs. It's leading you to this true love that you're being asked to go with the flow here with the wheel of fortune, be very flexible and adaptable to this and go with the flow and, uh, and, uh, have faith here. Okay. That the divine is bringing you and this person together in perfect divine order and perfect divine time when you're both ready, when you're both ready. So in the meantime, Keep living your life, luminosity. Keep doing, they, the, the, the person heard you, the divine heard you. Uh, keep doing your work, okay, on yourself. Keep focusing on your own energy, for on your own healing here. So you're glowing from within, right? And, uh, and, and, and in divine perfect timing, this star card is north node energy. So, you know, soul star here, getting a lot of guidance from the divine when it comes to this connection, a lot of synchronicities, even plugged in, connected to the cosmo. This is cosmic love. <laughs> very magical, right? Um, very telepathic even as well. So again, it's so close. It's so close. You're going to be tested. You're going to be tempted during this Mercury retrograde. It's up to you. Um, I was guided to a specific deck. I was guided to this deck. Wow, impatience with the bottom of the deck. My life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I'm always at the right place at the right time. So, you know, there's there's a reason why I was guided to this deck. There's a specific energy that came to me. What is the message and the guidance for the collective when it comes to this beautiful weekend message? True love. Oh my God. And make it God's. Remember I said no one's yours. No one, nothing belongs to you. Everything's temporary. So practice the art of detachment. Do the letting go affirmations. Do the detachment affirmations. We have your true love. Your wholeness and safety lies within. Not from a partner. But this sovereignty actually leads to the deepest intimacy for you to stop using others. Let me stand on my own feet, dear Lord. And no true love. So again, that's the lesson of this connection for you to stand on your own two feet here, fill your own cup, become whole here. And this is emotional independence, right? Fill your own cup, become whole and complete within yourself. That's when you're ready, right? To open yourself up and share and share yourself here with another, not selling out, not giving of your body and yourself first you know, uh, so that you can secure some kind of connection that never works, right? That only makes you feel used, rejected, neglected, sad, alone. And, and, and it, it triggers all of these abandonment, rejection, neglect, wounding that you have from past lives, childhood, even make it gods. We have release the idea of my as soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives. When there is no grasping, the right actions get shown. Free me from the prison of my dear Lord. This is another one of my favorite cards from this deck because that's why I say the channel or our channel. Right. Um, I, 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 I'm very conscious and aware of using specific words or spells, right? With certain words, because it automatically even puts you in lack even. Okay. So, um, and then we have clarity under that. Let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. 
May my own holy intuition always guide the way. I do feel that this person or you, whoever's in the eight of swords, right, needs to work on, you know, detaching, letting go. Those affirmations is on the community board. Again, the forgiveness. This right here is somebody that's still attached to something here, uh, an old, uh, you know, a pattern, an old uh, program, an old belief system that's keeping them outdated, limitations that's keeping them in this you, the forgiveness work and re, emotional freedom because these are thoughts these are thoughts needing to take control of your thoughts right so it's like it's like learning how to when things are chaotic the wheel of fortune are up in the air or there's a lot of things going on the best thing that you can do is come back to the present moment learn to take control of your thoughts and self and regulate right self-regulate you know and um and not make any kind of impulsive decisions from from your uh, emotions when they're up and down and all around and everywhere because the wheel of fortune comes in you're going through a major change right now and i've been there where i had a tower moment or a wheel of fortune because i had you know communication or uh you know from somebody that I still had a very strong cord attached to and um and it came, it felt like I came completely out of my body, you know, and, um, and, and felt like my body was on autopilot, you know, when it came to this situation. And, um, so be conscious and aware of that, right? Cause, um, certain connections can actually trigger that in, in, in a person where you're like, your body's doing one thing, but your, your logical sense is, is dormant asleep lost gone missing who knows where it goes <laughs> you know i want to know about this star clarify the star so somebody's getting a wish here oh my god oh my god a wish in love oh my god oh my god look at yeah here comes the boom boom stick <laughs> <laughs> here comes a lot of emotion a lot of love a lot of two people in love T with tele uh, silence is about to be broken two people in love that has this telepathic connection with each other here they come right here's the ace of, ace of wands that's that passion ignited energy okay so they're coming with their heart on their sleeve uh ready to you know uh outpouring of emotion ready to I express themselves emotionally here you can feel this coming with the high priestess right in the middle. You guys have a very strong spiritual telepathic connection. They're going to come and pour their heart out. But it's going to first start like this. Right? Which may trigger you into thinking that that's all that this person wants from you. But yeah, it is this action. Somebody's getting ready to take action. And it is, uh, you know, there's a lot of love and a lot of emotion, a lot of nostalgia here. It's going to make you very happy. Somebody is breaking through the, 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 the barrier, the wall here, freeing themselves. The sun is healing and recovery, childlike energy, openness, heart chakra opening, joy and happiness. It's a yes from the, from God source, the universe. Okay. And, um, and I feel like this, you know, if you want to go ahead if you feel that your your sense of self worth, self esteem, and confidence, you're in a good place when when it comes to that, when it comes to your codependency, and it's not something that you're going. If you want to drop the guard, drop the boundaries, right, and you want to, you know, sexual healing, right, you want to, sh you know, uh, share intimacy, physical union with somebody that you love responsibly, and you know you're not going to regret it later right? And you're not going to feel bad when this person dips on you again, right? Um, be my guest, right? Free will, you do whatever you want to do. But just know that this is the guidance here is to, you know, have some self respect, don't sell out, okay? And uh, make sure that you follow your heart and you're true to yourself and you're true to your heart. Decisions made made on balanced feelings, there's a lot of love, a lot of emotion that you have for somebody it's mutual they have it for you as well it's a it's a it's a it's a very powerful spiritual connection okay both people are feeling the same feelings mirroring each other here okay so now this person is in their head they can't seem to stop thinking about you at this time 
and they're making some kind of strategy they're making some kind of plan to come forward can i have a guidance for the collector for the weekend your dreams need a practical plan and a <laughs> spirit and a fiery climax approaches so you're definitely gonna have some kind of climax to this uh to this situation here and don't let pride get in the way that's a uh, leo energy when it comes to opening up opening yourself up right here to this love to this person you know when you push somebody away you're projecting your own fears and your own limitations right when you close off okay trust the universe this is coming back around for a reason here the wheel of fortune is bringing this back around for a cycle here with this person another cycle a new cycle trust it okay i feel like somebody is making some kind of a practical plan when it comes to you they're freeing themselves the time is now they're going to be reaching out to you and uh so get ready for that right i i do feel like let me let me get romance angels on this spirit what guidance do you have for the collective when it comes to this this uh this message today but it's a beautiful new beginning it's looking like but be sure that you are treated with respect the more you respect yourself and love yourself the more attractive you are okay this is a past life relationship that's why it's hard to say no <laughs> right your body does its own thing when you're around this person we have your heart-to-heart -heart conversation Ex honestly express your feelings with each other this is just you being asked to just uh express your sexuality responsibly from a place of authenticity self-love and self-respect that's all right you don't want to create any more wounds in the sacred and more imbalances and, and and blockages there we have trust the situation is calling for you to have to yeah somebody's coming in to have that heart to heart with you they want to talk they want to open up they want to express their feelings honestly discuss your feeling you're gonna have an opportunity to talk gonna have one more ah exactly he see i can't make this stuff up your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive you're going to be tested and the wheel of fortune is saying look just be playful carefree light-hearted light-hearted with this this is a light-hearted energy that means your heart chakra is healed open activated okay this is an energy of recovery life spark energy um this is solar plexus and masculine energy as well vitality even you know the sun is out right vitality we have playfulness I want to get uh, some guidance here for you from the this deck and then we'll wrap. So yeah, family, we have here orphan. This is that abandonment, rejection, abandonment wounds. I do feel like um, I'm probably going to do a reading uh, this weekend sometime, uh, a collective one for the person on your mind. See what's going, I mean, that's, we've been picking that up anyway, but to see what, what, you know, what's going on there you know and get and, and try to get some details on it right um but we do have this sadness this orphan this this abandoned card here okay this card of loss and again you're gonna have an opportunity here for a new beginning you're gonna have an opportunity queen of swords to express yourself clearly with kindness and with love you're gonna have an opportunity here to to tell somebody what you want your needs right what you would like you know and then you focus on your own life and let them you know be patient tell them what you want what you need what you like and be patient and let them come to you when they're ready to you know treat you in the way that you deserve to be treated with love with respect with honor with integrity with truth okay and they're ready to uh prioritize you ready to be honest with you ready to put you forward ready to put in time energy and effort right uh ready to to you know do love with you do love do life with you ready ready for true love with you right so ready to open up 
and uh, emotionally become be available and 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 have true intimacy we here with you in not just a physical way but in every way right like 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 these two here connect deeper on a soul level heart to heart conversation expressing how you feel with each other coming out of silence coming out of the 5d okay what is the guidance that you have for the collector for the weekend higher power and co-create oh i love this card the wisdom of the oracle higher power is guiding you both here especially with this high priestess here what a beautiful card yeah, pride and ego here will definitely block your blessings, okay? So be conscious and aware of that. A higher power. Conscious, conscious contact with the higher power. The presence of the divine. Seeing source energy in all things. Committing to a partnership with spirit. You're both doing that. Uh, you're both connected to your intuition right now. With your heart, with your sacral, this is both of you guys are in sacral chakra, and are you connecting with this person through your sacral chakra? Okay, here, both of you guys are feeling the emotions, the love for each other telepathically. You probably also can't stop thinking about this person, right? Probably being guided to watch each other, spy on each other, wondering what each other is doing right now. At least in the 5D you are. You're receiving messages from this person telepathically through movies, through music, through angel numbers. You could just be quiet and you could just hear spirit, download spirits saying stuff to you. That's from this person. I kept hearing the other day, um, I wasn't looking when I met you. And now I can't stop thinking about you. You showed up when I least expected you to. What a plot twist, right? So it's uh, there's two people here that are in love or falling in love with each other, and they have a lot of emotions that has not been expressed. They have no honestly, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Tell each other, make the romantic move, express your love, tell each other how you feel, open up to each other. There's two people resisting and holding back because of fear of rejection, of abandonment. So these two people here are psychic, they're intuitive, they're creative, okay? They're into probably in spirituality, right? They're both going through their spiritual awakening here. Again, with the lovers and the star, they're going through their spirit and the sun. There's a lot of clarity here about this connection, about this love, both going through a spiritual awakening, releasing attachments, make it gods, connecting more with their heart space and their sacral chakra. That's you're connected to this person in the heart and sacral chakra. The sun is Leo energy. It rules the heart. Aquarius here, star card is air energy. Also air rules the heart. So a lot of heart connecting here. A lot of heart opening that's happening in the 5D. The more you guys miss each other and telepathically connect with each other here. It's a very beautiful and special connection. Okay. These two people love each other deeply, unconditionally and true. It's true love. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul. And I did say, don't give your gods and goddess goods to mere mortals, right? <laughs> you have, you guys are immortal. That's why immortal souls and are gifted with a human life through which our higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good for all? How can I serve? Then get out of your own way and trust that there's a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. Your relationship message. It is time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with the higher power called God, goddess, and spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution 
Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature right here. You have a very strong spiritual bond with somebody here that is unlike Un oh God. Okay. I'm sorry. YouTube. Unlike any other. Okay. It's very strong that you have this bond with somebody here. Okay. Spirit wants you to honor that, not let pride and ego cre create resistance in this energy. It is a very important connection. It's connected to your spiritual path, your spiritual growth, your enlightenment, your perp right here, destined and faded your purpose. It's, it's linked to that tied to that it was sent to you destined by the divine by god source the universe it's a catalyst to your spiritual awakening to your growth to your purpose even so honor it treasure it and cherish it because this connection is truly special and truly important and you're going to hear from this person okay and um and the lesson here, one of the lessons, the soul growth lesson for you both is self-respect, is self-worth, is self-love. If you've been healing from selling out in the past, right, this is your opportunity to do things differently. That's how we're going to stay on the right side of karma with the wheel of fortune going in the right direction for us, right, towards our destined path with the wheel of fortune bringing in, you know, our blessings here, right? Our blessings, our expansion, our wishes. We have two cards, three of your wit, four, if you count the will of fortune, of your wishes coming true. This is a huge, major turning point in this connection. Huge transformation for this connection, okay? There's a lot that has is being cl clarity here for both of you. This is a very important and special connection when it comes there's a lot of growth a lot of expansion a lot of healing a lot of recovery here this is a beautiful spread okay and uh and again you're uh, there's a test coming in there's going to be a fiery climax coming in here i don't know if it's going to be this weekend or if it's going to be during the time frame between that we're in this mercury retrograde but it is divine timing there's something coming to fruition we're so close to coming out of this eight of swords right clarity is here truth is here right here this person is, is connecting more to their heart space their sacral chakra that was the message for luminosity for men to communicate from the heart to speak from the heart for the masculines right to connect with the heart space to the divine for the masculines to connect with the divine feminine energy within them both of you guys are healing the divine feminine energy and sacral chakra within you and here they come Wow, what a beautiful reading. Um, I am going to do uh, a reading for Patreon tomorrow, this weekend. Uh, I'm going to do Cancer's reading also at some point this weekend. And again, uh, the per I might even do also the person on your mind. So we'll see where my energy levels is at. But wow, Woo! what an energy. I love you guys. And thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, and for showing up for yourselves, for each other, and for me. God bless you. I love you all. And uh, namaste, family. Much love. I'll see you guys very soon. Have a great weekend, family.